what is your most challenging third party integration and yeah. what was the issues you faced yeah. and how you resolved it yeah um we did a integration when i was a consultant for a telecom communications provider called um they they were called saddleback they were a smaller communications provider um that did uh they literally laid the fiber and the copper in the ground uh for okay. um the so when when you get into um uh tribal uh, uh uh parts so there are parts of the united states that have um the 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 tribes the the, the actual native people um and they run their own utilities so it is a completely separate grid it is a like their 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 telecommunications are not linked to the rest of the the grid in the United States they run their own um okay. and so they're literally laying the fiber and the the cave, the fiber and the and the copper and so we did this integration with a uh, a telecommunications provider called Saddleback they were using a product called Mapcom and it was the worst API I had ever dealt with um in to the point where uh they would double encode their error messages so what would happen okay. is you would get an error message back it would be json encoded and then you would have to json encode like the error message again to actually parse the the message payload like okay. the first time you'd have to unparse it and then you'd have to unparse it again to get the, the second string out of it and it was just it was so maddening um, the the kinds of things you would get, but it would be like here's a 200 error, you know, HTTP 200 with the error code that you then had to unparse again, like out of this other string. I'm like, okay, like, and it was it it wasn't it wasn't in the it wasn't wrong. It just wasn't right, right? It, there were things where it would you would just come up to these issues where you're like, why wouldn't you just give me a 500 error and let me catch it? And that, you know, and, and things like that, where, um, boy, if they had just implemented RESTful architecture, it would have been, it would have gone so much simpler instead of me right. having to check, you know, the string, is there an error message in the string? And then having to, you know, drop into some error logic. Um, the, you know, their, their, their objects would morph all of a sudden it wouldn't be the same, you know, the reference to the object would be the same, but the objects like structure would change slightly and you're like what happened to the rest of the properties in this object um things like that okay. i've i've done oauth i've done all sorts of stuff where it's like yeah there's signatures back and forth and there's refresh tokens and there's all sorts of stuff and none of that has been ever come as close to the ones where the it's just been inconsistently uh implemented that those to me are the hardest ones you know, when you have an API that is poorly written, that okay. that's a hard that's a hard integration to deal with. Okay. Um, I find that those are the ones that tend to frustrate me the most because either you know documentation's lacking or it's just it, you know one call is written one way or one call is written another way, and that just becomes the most frustrating thing to me. Um, and 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 when I get into those situations, right, you know, as a consultant, I look at it and I go, okay, you know, you you tend to put ten to eight percent of your time on top of things just because like when I start getting into one of those, it's like, okay, we're talking twenty to to thirty percent extra time I have to put on top of these things because it's like I don't know what I don't know. And I'm going to get into something where it's just going to be like some crazy situation where I'm going to have to fix something or do something that I had no idea, or I'm going to have to go do some crazy, you know, recursive search through something to fix something because like there was some weird eccentricity with this API that I, I had no idea I had to deal with. Okay. Those are the ones that really get me. So they were using soap. No, that's the thing. They were using JSON, and okay. then they would wrap. They they there were some soap. There were some soap requests in there that you had to use some, and then they would wrap JSON, and okay. and like some of the payloads were wrapped um, with like the JSON was encoded twice, okay, and and you would have to like double encode, like you had to double parse your JSON, 
there were SOAP requests, don't get me wrong, where they had like older parts of the API where you had to make SOAP requests and and like it was half and half. You're uh, ironically enough, you were completely correct. But and and don't uh, the SOAP requests were okay because at least they were well documented and I at least had a WSDL that I could go run off of and pull down the SOAP requests and figure it all out. But from the JSON side of things, like it was like someone understood SOAP, but not JSON. And okay. and when I had to go to the JSON side of things, it was just a mess. So it okay. was it wasn't so great. Okay. So how you designing your APIs also have a huge oh. impact on uh, while addressing because the rest other things are fairly common, right? Accessing oh, yeah. the API and uh, downloading it and then fetching the data. These are standard things. But if it is bad written, Absolutely. then it may have some problems. And 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 if it's badly written, right? Like if it's consistently badly written, from from like if if call A is badly written the same way as call B is badly written, at least it's consistently badly written, right? I can <laughs> right. anticipate that. Okay. When it's badly written one way for call A, and then call B is badly written in a completely different way, like. <laughs> Man, that, I don't know what to do. Like it's like it's I'm dodging and weaving all over the place, and it, it like it's just so hard to anticipate. Um, you know, at, at least if you're if you're consistently bad at right. something, like you know, just be consistently bad. Then at least I know it's like okay, you spelled this thing wrong everywhere. Like it, you know, if you spelled the property incorrectly everywhere, at least I know that you did it everywhere. Um, but when you know you've got polymorphic objects that just tend to you know move around all of a sudden it's like really like that the so property was that, here we can say that uh, that api was unpredictable yeah That's yeah fine. and from call to call to make it completely unpredictable it's like come on like okay. come on yeah yeah great great amazing so if anyone also has such kind of experience you can mention in the comment section so yes, that please uh, yeah Okay. Uh, people know you're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. 